Toyota BZ4X will destroy the EV industry. Toyota developed a Toyota Prius hybrid electric car in 1997, intending to sell millions of units throughout the world. The Asian Titan had seen success with its Lexus-branded hybrids. Total gross sales exceeded 15 million units, but how will it destroy the EV industry? To know the answer, keep watching, but before that, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button. Let's dig into the video. Toyota chose to electrify their IC models by producing hybrid variants, with no completely electric vehicles carrying their logos. At the same time, many other conventional manufacturers competed by declaring plans and extensive resources to become electric by self-imposed dates. Toyota appears to be mixing in action, which is odd for a firm that sells the most automobiles globally. It changed when Toyota disclosed its own intentions, and it appears that the floodgates have been opened. The sleeping monster has awoken, and we are now confronted with an invasion of EVs with Toyota logos. Let's see what slowed Toyota's reaction to the second wave of EVs. Toyota needs no introduction. You certainly heard or worked with people who drive one of the thousands of cars the firm ships out each year. Toyota is prevalent with car owners for several reasons. For one, Toyota cars are designed for reliability and dependability. They're less prone to damage, and it's not as expensive to fix them when they do. Their parts are readily available, and mechanics who can handle them are available everywhere. As a result, they last a long time and can realistically be passed down to your children. In fact, according to data samples collected, Toyota owns 10 of the top 15 cars that buyers keep for the longest time, including the Toyota Highlander, RAV4, Land Cruiser, the Prius Corolla, and Camry. Toyota has one of the most excellent resale values in the industry. With all these factors in play, it's no wonder that Toyota has consumer confidence. So, what may have slowed Toyota's reaction to the EV revolution 2.0? After the Prius was launched, it was customary to assume a genuine battery electric car to follow, but that didn't happen as promised. Gerald Kilman, VP of R&D for Toyota in Europe, stated why it was essentially an issue allocating the company's resources. Toyota is one of the world's largest corporations, yet it is not without limits. The battery was the main issue, according to Kilman. Toyota could produce 28,000 BEVs and one and a half hybrids every year. But Toyota thought they were having a more positive effect on the planet in that way. But the battery isn't the only issue they had with BEVs. HQ was not open to the idea, or better yet, wanted to play the waiting game. Keep in mind, Toyota isn't the entertainment type. It can be made more evident than by one of Toyota's advertisement that displays a future model moving past historical cars. The automobile passes an EV driver who is not pleased to be sitting near a charger and seeing his car take forever to charge in any case. The CEO has gone on record claiming that the trend towards electric vehicles is overhyped because they are charged with power generated at plants that emit emissions, a stance frequently promoted by oil and gas industry players. The main point is that Toyota has spent its resources and time trying to chase models utilizing hydrogen fuel cells and hybrid powertrains. A new Toyota that has turned to BEVs? Apparently news has finally reached Toyota HQ that BEVs are the game changer of mobility. Toyota's perspective has shifted slightly due to witnessing Tesla make a fortune. The company has sat up and is now eager to accept the battery electric car. Like the big gun, Toyota is coming with guns blazing to seize the top plates. It has a product map in that area that covers at least five years, and that is what we are going through right now. The drink strategy begins in 2020 and has stated targets by 2025. By that year, the globe will have received 15 new EVs from the Japanese car maker, around one new Toyota EV per year. Toyota will produce 70 vehicles that use fuels other than those derived from fossil sources. Toyota has essentially turned the fire hose on us now that it has finally recognized the reality of electric cars. By 2025, the automaker has promised to use non-fossil fuel in more than 70 models. 15 of those will be BEVs, and we've seen the trailblazer in the BZ4X model displayed in Shanghai. 
We are pleased to see Toyota join the EV market as it has the resources to make an effect. So, what do you think of it? Please share it with us in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.